This is a molecule of water. It contains two hydrogen atoms attached to one oxygen atom. That's why the chemical formula for water is H2O. Water has a number of special properties due to it being a polar molecule with hydrogen bonds. Somewhat like a magnet, a polar molecule has different charges on its different ends. A hydrogen bond is where a hydrogen of one molecule is attached to an atom of nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine of a different molecule. In the case of water, the hydrogen atoms on one molecule are attached to the oxygens of other molecules. Now to the properties. Cohesion is where water sticks to itself. This causes surface tension, which is why water forms drops, water striders can walk on water, and why it is possible to overfill a cup with water. Surface tension allows the surface of water to resist another force. Adhesion is where water sticks to something else. Adhesion can be seen when a tear stays on your face, or when a drop of dew remains on a blade of grass. Together, adhesion and cohesion enable capillary action, which is how water can move up the inside of a tree, seemingly against the will of gravity. Water also has a high specific heat, which means that it takes a lot of energy to change its temperature. This is why it doesn't change temperature as quickly as most other substances. If you were to hold a piece of iron under a flame, it would heat up more quickly than if you were to try to boil water with that same flame. This is because water has a higher specific heat than iron. Water is also known as the universal solvent because it is good at dissolving things. A solvent is what dissolves a solute to form a solution. An example of this is salt water. Water, the solvent, dissolves salt, the solute, to form salt water, the solution. Water more easily dissolves or mixes with substances that are hydrophilic, meaning that they are attracted to water. The opposite is true for hydrophobic substances such as oil. Like water, hydrophilic substances are polar. And in general, the phrase like describes like can be used, as polar substances can dissolve other polar substances and nonpolar ones can dissolve nonpolar ones. On the other hand, a polar substance generally cannot dissolve a nonpolar one and vice versa. Depending on what is dissolved in water, its pH, which is a scale of acidity, can change. Pure water has a pH of 7.0 and is considered neutral. Something that is acidic has a lower pH, whereas something that is basic or alkaline has a higher pH. The pH scale is logarithmic, meaning that an increase or decrease of one pH unit is equal to making something 10 times more alkaline or 10 times more acidic, respectively. Water has a lower pH when there are more free H plus or hydrogen ions or H3O plus or hydronium ions in the water, and it has a higher pH when there are more OH- or hydroxyl ions. Ions are atoms or molecules that have electric charges because they have lost or gained an electron. And these specific ions are naturally found in water. In fact, if you add them together, you would get H2O, or water itself. When water dissolves a substance, that substance is broken down and surrounded by these ions in what is called a hydration cell. Certain substances change the normal balance of these ions in water, ultimately changing the pH of the solution. 